What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to talk about some new Pokemon cards that just got announced. Uh, but before we get into that, it is the day before Hidden Fates, and that means we're going to select the winner of the giveaway. I'll do actually do that Friday morning, you know, before I head out. Uh, and just a quick update. So I did call like uh, my local Target, and they didn't have any, but I did call GameStop. And they said that they will have some tomorrow available, so definitely will. Hopefully, I'll be able to pick some up from there. And as far as like the status of my pre-orders, I think the stuff from Game Nerds will be in. We'll probably get it on Monday, it looks like. So, won't have it for the weekend. A little disappointed about that, but but but. So, you know, we did uh, did do a couple ones. So this is the my eBay page. Not my eBay page but like my orders ah don't look at the top that, that's uh some stuff that uh for cool mail day some cool stuff but uh this is the important part SMA delivery Friday yes that's so cool that this seller does get it to us on release day and so it's Fed USA we'll take a look at their page in a second um, and so we have three, six boxes coming in. Hopefully we should have them tomorrow. So probably open those after I get out of work uh, sometime in the early evening. So stay tuned for that. And uh, oh, we put in two of these. So super excited. We're going to uh, have a good amount of supply come uh, tomorrow. And uh, so yeah, the our, and this guy did sell at a pretty good rate. Uh, it was 30, now it's 33. I feel like it was a little bit cheaper when I did order it. I bought three of them, it came up to like 85. And oh, that's because of this 5% off when you order 2%, two or more. And so, if you're looking for a potential buyer for future stuff, um, I've had some success with this buyer, uh, Fedusa. I'll put a link in the comment or description uh, just so you kind of have it. I can't say I ordered from this person previously, but this is a very positive experience. But let's get to the new card that we're here to talk about, Trevenant and Dusk Noir Tag Team GX. Uh, we're at PokeBeach.com, Water Pokemon Master had a post today, and it is for this new Pale Moon collection box. And like, actually on Game Nerds, they had this for a little bit, and I was like, eh, I don't think I need this. Uh, so I haven't purchased any, but then the, this thing came out, and oh, it does look pretty cool. So the card itself, 270 HP, and it's tag team, but this is a tech that I feel like is very interesting. Uh, Night Watch for three Psychic. Uh, three Psychic is not that great, but 150 damage. Choose two random cards from your opponent's hand and reveals those cards and shuffle them into their deck. Uh, I feel like it's pretty rare that we have this kind of mechanic where you basically reduce their hand. Uh, and I feel like there's so much potential there. The 150 damage too is, is nothing to sneeze at. Like it can two hit any Pokemon, uh, assuming that there's no like um, choice helmet or anything like that, no healing. So it's good, but not great damage. But I feel like to choose two random cards is really strong. Um, you know, I feel like if you happen to hit like their Cynthia, their Lily, basically you shut down their card draw, you can really choke them on what they're able to do. Like there's nothing worse than when you have all this potential card draw, but you don't have any of it. And then you basically like draw like, all right, maybe I can attack, but I can't really do much. Uh, then your opponent can really snowball. Um, and it's like, well, you know, oh, is, is this going to be good? Is Psychic any good? And uh, let me think about it. Like, oh, world just happened. And what? What deck won? The Mewtwo deck. So yes, there is a uh, Psychic is definitely possible and it works works with Mewtwo. Um, oh, whenever I face this and PGCGO always rocks me. Like they always manage to get a Mewtwo and a Latios out and they're like, all right, that's game. Um, they can one hit my uh, Volcanians and if they attack my Reshi's already can't do anything. Uh, unless I happen to have two custom catchers, but then they just throw in another one. They keep that combo going. So deck is super powerful, and I feel like this could easily slot one of these in, or uh, in this deck. So uh, then it's GX attack is pretty cool. So psychic colorless, and at the end of your opponent's next turn, defending Pokemon is knocked out. Yeah, very interesting. If you happen to have a grass, the grass throws me for a loop, but it is Trevenant. So also remove all the energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, I feel like this this attack is interesting, definitely a lot of potential, but I'm not crazy about it. At the end of the day, uh, my understanding is that if you just switch them out, like the effect is gone. Like switching out your active Pokemon removes all special effects and everything, and I'm assuming it includes this. 
Uh, so I'm not crazy about it. Some people speculated in the comments that, well, you know, you can make it hard to retreat by that. And yeah, I guess that's true. But I don't like the idea of, oh, if I happen to have a switch in my hand, I just wasted my GX attack. Not wasted, but the, 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 the part where my Pokemon faints next turn is all gone. Um, and so there was a couple of funny comments that uh, when you look at this, like, all right, unified, unified, unified minds, unified minds, not sure what this is. And then a Steam Siege. Uh, does it actually say? Uh, it retails for $20 for boosters. And uh, yeah, so some people speculate. Actually, no one mentioned the world's, the, the deck that won the world. So maybe I'm not correct there. Uh, but this is actually pretty interesting for Judge. Uh, run some of these and a bunch of Judge. So basically, do everything you can to prevent your opponent from having cards in their hand. Um, I'm not crazy about the idea of going all in. I like the idea of sliding this into that Mewtwo deck so you can cherish ball for it when you want to. And if the opportunity presents itself, like let's say your opponent for whatever reason only has three cards or something, um, then you can just like wipe out their hand and really choke them. Like the chances of them having the one card is like a Lily or Cynthia being pretty low or a uh, Dedenne. Um, so let's see. Yeah, there's people talking. Let's see. What was that line? Comment. One thing that's pretty funny is uh, <laughs> stares at the pack of Steam Siege in the box. Surely they have to run out of these. Unfortunately, I don't think that's true. Uh, I think that these XY packs in these collection boxes will just be a thing and then at some point maybe, but they'll stop, but they'll just be like Sun and Moon base, which is also rotated out. Uh, I think it's just an evil that we just have to get comfortable with. Although it begs the question, why do they do that? It must be just to remove extra stock. Um, but I, I'm, I'm guessing they have plenty of XY to go around. I think at one point I'll just like, I like the idea of collecting booster boxes. And um, so I did pick up some Steam Siege one and that was like the cheapest thing. I think I bought like some, uh, like in the past year for like $60 uh, for a booster box of Steam Siege. So that's how cheap it is. And that's just probably how much overflow of supply they have. So as far as these XY packs being in these collection boxes, unfortunately I think they're here to stay. Um, so yeah, retail for $19.99 and uh, I do want to bring like, you know, we've been talking about like, pre-orders a lot and uh, actually let's just check if it's in, I doubt it's here, but uh, this is even, let's just check if this site uh, has it, I don't think so, but But it is on Game Nerds already, so if you are interested in purchasing this, uh, you can get it for 15 from this site. Uh, again, this is the site where I do a majority of my purchasing. Chance of you getting it on release day, almost zero percent chance. I don't think I've ever done that, but you know they do have good prices. And uh, as far as like this product being sold out, like uh, Hidden Fates, I think like there's like a two percent chance of that happening. Uh, so there's no need to rush. It doesn't come out till October. This is kind of like a Halloween thing. Uh, but I do think that this card does have some potential and definitely worth, in my opinion, picking up at least one of them. You know, even if you have to pay full MSRP, $20, uh, you know, it's not great for four packs, but you know, I, I do think it's good to have one of these cards. And I think it's pretty cool. And uh, so that's it for today. As always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And uh, all right, tomorrow's the day, Hidden Fates. And I'm so excited, uh, let you know how it goes, uh, trying to find some products and stuff that hopefully I get the ones in the mail. But, uh, you know, enjoy Hidden Fates release day, everyone. And thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.